So today is my first Halloween themed video and I am going to do a cotton candy clown look. So I'm really excited. But first we're going to talk about today's sponsorship. So thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So Squarespace is the all in on platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business from websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics. So basically, if you don't know, I do business at university and Squarespace actually has has a lot of like forums as well, which I noticed. They have blogs, webinars, and like help guides. And I've had a look through them and they've actually given me a lot of insight about business and starting a website and everything. So I've really enjoyed checking that out. What I love about Squarespace is that they have so many features that make running a website or a blog or any online website so easy and manageable. I've tried to start web pages in the past and I have found it to be such a difficult experience, but just by playing around with Squarespace's tools Tools. It's so easy and actually enjoyable. <laughs> they offer powerful blogging tools to tell your story, share, posts, and make updates. And a feature that they do have that I love is that you can actually schedule your posts. Squarespace also has traffic overview features to show the people that visit your webpage, your unique visitors, and it allows you to see your top products, your traffic sources, and so many other features, which makes it a lot easier to know where your reach and everything is coming from. And it is really easy to sell subscriptions to products or services on a monthly or weekly basis. And this really helps to generate recurring revenue and to also build customer loyalty. And probably one of my most favorite features that Squarespace has is that you you can auto post to your social medias from Squarespace. And yeah, I love this because embedding your social media links to your website can really help grow your followers. And this ensures that all entries and images are optimized and tagged properly. So descriptions and titles will be correctly referenced. So everyone head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, click this link here, www.squarespace.com forward slash Leah Holton. It's in the description as well. And you'll be able to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I also have a coupon code that you guys can use and that is Leah Holton. So yeah, thank you so much again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I really recommend them you guys if you guys want to start a business or even if you want to research about creating a website, like it honestly has given me so much insight just from like testing around their website. Go check them out. Let's get on with the video. Right, I'm so excited to get into my first Halloween look. So this is my outfit. It is from Fashion Nova. They have amazing Halloween outfits and I have got a lot from Fashion Nova. And yes, yeah, so I have always loved Halloween. Halloween is my holiday. It is my jam. So let's just get into it. So I'm starting off with the KVD Vegan Beauty Locket Primer. So I've actually done a clown look before. I think I was in year nine. I had a makeup page and on the six days leading up to Halloween. I did a Halloween look every single day and it was so much fun. And one of the looks I did was a clown with a cut smile. So I'm really inspired by myself to do the cut smile again. So today I'm gonna start off with my brows as per usual. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I started really getting into Halloween in grade five or six, I think, because my friend from primary school, Holly, shout out Holly. She would throw a Halloween party every year and it was so much fun. So that's where my love for Halloween started. All right, so now that I got my brows filled in, I don't know why this happens like this today, but they're very dark. I'm going to brush through them with the 24 hour brow setup by Benefit, like so. And then I'm going to carve around my brows as per usual, the top with NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and for underneath the brow in the shade Vanilla. But yeah, I have here Halloween. A Hugh, Hugh Hefner. But yeah, I have a few Halloween looks planned. And this morning I had literally the biggest mental breakdown in my life. And I honestly didn't want to film this because I was in such a bad mood. But basically all of my stuff arrived on time because I pre-ordered everything. Like I really wanted to do a heap of Halloween looks. And one of the looks that I was most excited for, I left my costume on my desk there. And I don't know what happened, but my dog got to it. I don't know how, I'm really sus really sus and he took the product out and he ripped one of it and he lost the other part of it so I can't really find one of the main pieces of the outfit and I don't know what to do because I literally kind of based the look around the outfit but I still kind of really want to do it I don't know sad sad times for me okay I don't know if I should do the eyes first or the mouth first I haven't worked with like liquid oh my god what is wrong with me I haven't le <laughs> learned 
Oh my God, I haven't worked with liquid latex in a really long time. So I might just do that first. So I have this liquid latex that I got from Lombards. I should have gotten like scar wax, but I honestly forgot to order it online. Oh. <laughs> so you need tissues and I'm going to fold it in half like so. Fold it in half again and then fold it in half again like this. So I'm going to cut it so that we have many pieces. Should I just rip it? Am I being impatient? I'm ripping it. I am being impatient. So I'm going to take these pieces and rip them in half. So I want it to be a smile. So I'm going to kind of stick it in that kind of direction. It is a bit better if all of the edges are ripped because that makes it just look a bit better. So if I want the smile to like go up to there, I'm going to rip off where I want it to end. Okay, so now I have two little faces. I'm going to get my liquid latex and I'm going to put that on my face and try and do it around your mouth so it like sticks more. Now I'm going to stick these babies on. Like so, perfect. So now our aim is to create a slit. Honestly, this is hard to explain, but I'm going to take one of these pieces and fold it in half again, because we want really thin pieces. It's okay if it's raggedy. It's okay if it's not perfect. Probably better if it's raggedy and not perfect because wounds, they're not perfect. And then I'm going to layer them on, but leave space in the middle. So just stick it on, like don't get down. So now we're going to do one underneath. And then if you see it like getting stuck in the middle, just get your scissors and like kind of lift up the paper very gently. Mm -hmm. We're getting there. Stick it on. So like that. And then just to double blend everything, just kind of plop some latex on. I kind of really like this latex. So now that I'm done with this side, I'm going to do this side and I'll be back with them both done. Okay, so I've done the smile and it looks very crazy, but I'm gonna move on to my eyes now. So basically I'm gonna do one pink eye and one blue eye. All right, so I'm starting off with the James Charles Morphe palette and I'm starting off with this pink shade. And that will be my starting crease color I gather. I just lightly put that on and now I'm taking this pink shade and just deepening that up. Really making that pink up. All right, so for this eye, we're going to do a blue. So I'm taking this blue shade here and then just blending that out as best as I can. All right, now I'm going to cut my crease. I'm using the same concealer as before, the vanilla one. So by the way, the game Among Us, everyone knows. I downloaded it and I just like couldn't get into it. When I downloaded it, it was when I was like updating my phone. By the way, this is my homepage. If you guys want some homepage inspiration and like hours on it, I wanted like a really cute theme. But anyway, I downloaded the game because I wanted to download some new apps. I did not have a clue as I was playing it. So after like one game, I deleted it because I didn't realize we had to do tasks. Like I was just like walking around. And then like on YouTube, I started seeing people playing it and I started watching. So I was like, oh yeah, I don't know if I can like fully get into it. Maybe I'll have to re-download the app so I can try. But I love watching Among Us videos. I know I'm like obsessed. So now that I've cut both creases, I'm taking the Kylie X Balmain palette and I'm going to take this pink shade, Night Out, and put that on this lid. Just pack it on. Pack and pack and pack it. Oh, I'm packing. Like, why do I do these accents? I will never know, but I kind of enjoy doing it. That was such a pointless sentence. I apologize sincerely. And this eye, I'm taking the shade City of Love. That's probably like one of my most favorite shades in my entire existence. I love it. Like, just look how pretty that shade is. It's so beautiful. I'm going to give myself a wing. So of course I'm taking the KBD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liner. And I'm just gonna give myself a big fat juicy wing on both sides, like so. Love that. All right, I'm gonna give myself, no, maybe I won't. Mm, I will give a cat wing, I love a cat wing. All right, so now that I have both sides done, I'm going to move on to foundation. Did that rhyme? Maybe a little bit. So I'm taking the KVD Locket Foundation in the shades Medium 51 Warm and Medium 54 Neutral. I'm also taking this KVD Vegan Beauty number no. five brush. I have been loving these foundations and brushes. You really hardly need anything for this, but I'm just putting one pump of each. And yeah, it's super easy to just like apply this over the latex. Don't stress too much. I feel latex is just like super easy to work with. Well, that's being said that I have never worked with anything 
else. And I'm gonna put that down my neck, but we are going to give ourselves the, what's it called? Like the neck piece? Like we're gonna draw on a neck piece? What, it, like what? I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna also put it on my chest because my chest do be pasty dough. No. All right, and then with the residue, I'm just like patting that. But you kind of want to be gentle. So now I'm taking the Hourglass Vanish Stitch. I really can't speak today, I don't know why. And now I'm taking the Hourglass Vanish Stick in the shade Linen. I'm just highlighting my face as usual. <laughs> But like, honestly, don't stress too much about under the eyes because I guess it will be covered. I'm now powdering everything with the KVD Locket Translucent Setting Powder. Powder everything! Powder, 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 powder. That was a lot of powder. All right, now I'm gonna contour. I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm taking my Scott Barnes contour palette and I'm gonna start by contouring around my forehead. I have a feeling this will turn out good. Hopefully I don't jinx myself because I feel like I do that a lot. Contouring my nose now with this little brush. I'm now blushing with the Scott Barnes blush palettes. You kind of want to be really blushed or cute. All right, so now I don't know what to move on to. I might do above the eyebrow. So I'm taking the James Charles palette again and going with a pink and I'm going to create like a mini triangle it doesn't really have to be perfect like we're gonna blend it out but yeah try and make sure that like the edges are kind of blended out and then doing the same with the blue side so taking the blue shade and then creating the triangle Illuminati I'm like kind of proud of myself I feel like this is already turning out good but again don't want to jinx myself I'm gonna do a triangle underneath. Hopefully this isn't the wrong decision. I still don't really think this is a big enough triangle. I might just risk it all. I'm risking it all. Okay, I'm gonna do the same for the pink eye. Pink eye. It's honestly pretty easy, not going to lie. You just kind of slap colors on your face and it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm taking the tattoo liner again and I'm going to create like a black triangle within the triangle, if you get what I mean. So like this. And then I'll do it underneath. But with this one, I'm kind of lining my waterline with it. Not my waterline, like underneath my waterline, my lower lash line. Mm. And then in the center of my eye, I'm gonna bring it down to a point, but we don't want it too thick. Like this, and then fill it in. All right, so I've just lined this eye, and now I'm gonna go line this eye. Okay, so I did that and now I'm gonna use some diamantes. If you can't tell, I've been obsessed with diamantes lately. I have these just from Kmart and I'm gonna take a mini blue one and stick it above the points. I'm just doing the same with the pink side. So it's just like this. Oh my God, I love it, I love it, I love it. Now I'm going to take my liquid liner again and I'm going to start to create the neck things. Oh, kind of nerve wracking. And then I want to line here. Oh, I want to line here. And then, oh, this is the hard part, I think. Okay, hold up. Hold up. And connect. I feel like it's a bit uneven, but I don't really care, to be honest. So like that, and then I'm going to fill it in. So this will be blue, this will be pink, this will be pink, this will be blue. So I'm taking this bigger brush and just going in with the blue and then filling it in. See, this is just easy, but I really want to try and make it look pretty vibrant. So it's more about like packing on the color than it is blending it. I'm just really trying to not go over the lines. This is going to stain my neck. Stained and unashamed. All right, so now that I've done the blue, I'm going to literally do the exact same for the pink and then I'm going to thicken the lines a little bit so it's not as raggedy. So I'll be back with that done. Okay, so I did this and I'm gonna do the same thing again with the diamantes, but I'm gonna take ones that are a little bit bigger. I'm gonna stick a pink one, another pink one, and then a blue one under each of these. Oh, this is coming together, I'm so excited. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna stick on my lashes. I'm using the Royal Blossom Boutique Lashes in the style Stargirl. Before I put on my lashes, I'm just quickly letting them get tacky, but I'm going to tight line my eyes with the KVD Vegan Beauty Cake Pencil. Ah, I'm also just gonna quickly put a little bit of this L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara on. All right, and now I'll be back with my lashes on. All right, I have my lashes on and now it's time for the fun part. So time to gore up my mouth. So I'm taking this packing brush and the black and I'm just really going to get all in there and kind of like incorporate it into your lips. We really don't want to have any white showing. Right now that I've packed the black, I'm going to try and make it look more bruised. So I'm taking these two browns 
and starting to like blend out the area so on tops of the creases and like this is probably the most easy part like you don't really need to do anything intricate anything detailed it's just all brown all right, i'm gonna add a little bit of brownie red so i'm taking this and this mixed together and like just put some patches like not much just to kind of look like dried blood get some on your chin like don't be scared to like smudge it around your face a bit i'm going to add the blood last but the blood literally does so much like it makes it look so good but i'm going to add eye contacts now and this is literally going to give it everything like the blood and the eye contacts like i'm so excited you can leave it as this if you don't have blood or eye contacts like this still looks really cool but they are just the cherry on top all right so the contact lenses that i will be using are from the third eye i love their packaging and i'm kind of scared because these contacts cover your entire eye i've never worn contacts like that before like oh my god should i have the pink on the blue eye and the blue on the pink eye i think i might do that that'll be cool you can use my code halton at the checkout and don't forget to click the link in the description on this video the only contacts that i've ever worn are the third eye and these are in the shade screen pink and screen baby blue so i'm so excited i'm gonna get my mom to help me put on my contacts because i am terrible at putting them on i get anxiety and especially with these because i won't be able to see but yeah i'll put these on and then i'll be back to do the blood <laughs> oh my god i am obsessed i cried a little bit but that's okay oh wait that's ruined i couldn't even see that it kind of looks like a kind of white glaze right now because it's pink and blue mixed together but when i had the pink in because i put the pink in first oh my god that is so weird so i'm looking directly up into the light yeah but if I move my eyes around it, like sometimes, like if I look here, it's dark, light, dark, light, dark. It's like I'm switching on and off a light. I'm gonna get this and I'm going to stick this in. Oh, and just glaze in blood. <sighs> Put it on my outfit. Okay, I can hear it dripping, but I can't see anything. Okay, I can really hear it dripping. All right, I'm gonna spread some of this blood around. I think this is the finished. <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's getting all over the outfit. I'm just gonna like dab it off so it doesn't drip as much. Okay, hopefully it doesn't get on my outfit anymore. So I guess this is the finished look. hope you enjoyed this look i am really proud of myself and honestly it's not even that hard to recreate i did take a while though because i was trying to perfect it but yeah i love this look so much and thank you so much to squarespace for sponsoring this video i am so grateful and i love squarespace don't forget to check them out you guys and yeah make sure to like subscribe follow me on instagram at leahholton underscore bye